Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video and today we're gonna look at my um, eyeshadow palette deck for this year I've kind of gathered all different questions or like all different categories I've watched uh, Angelica's video and a couple other videos I will link the ones that I've watched um, and there are a couple uh, there were a couple categories that I've written even before watching these videos, so... Um, I don't even know how many categories I have, but it's gonna be something like 10-ish. I'm not completely sure about the number. Um, so I hope you're gonna like this video. If, it's your first, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows, so majority of my uh, collection is eyeshadow palettes and um, to start with the first category which is the newest palette I have two newest palettes they came in the mail today actually so I have the Winter Wonderland by uh, Cosmic Brushes I'm actually wearing it today this is my uh, second look using this palette um, I think I'm releasing this video before the review of uh, this palette but uh, the review should come up tomorrow probably I I think I'm, I'm not completely sure with the with the schedule but it should be it's either already up in that case I will get in the little corner and if it's not then it's coming tomorrow probably so that's the Winter Wonderland and I also got the Muse palette I haven't swatched this one yet, haven't opened it yet um, I want to play with this palette first before I touch this uh, so yeah, those are my two newest palettes the oldest palette in my collection is the Giant Wolves palette by Odin's Eye and Annette Homberstadt and it's also one of the most sentimental palettes because I've got this from a friend uh, I have her for a year so technically like in the sense of ownership uh, my oldest palette would be the Hella palette by Odin's Eye but this is the um, this is the oldest when it comes to the release date there are a couple palettes that i used to have that are older but they're either i are either threw them away or they're in my empties for this year so you're gonna see them in my uh project pen video uh for 2023 like the recap of the project pen and it's also gonna be i'm planning to do one video that's gonna be like all the makeup i've used up this year and it's gonna be in that video so there are a couple palettes that are older um i think the oldest one would be the urban decay naked cherry that i've been able to use up this year that was uh that would be the oldest palette that i currently still technically have even though it's finished up but like i have it physically in this room uh the ones that i had prior to her are no longer with me i don't really collect old makeup unless it's something like this and this one is still um this can still be used uh unlike the other palettes that are just too old and i definitely couldn't uh wouldn't be able to use them anymore so that's the oldest then uh the next category would be a palette that's worth the hype or like um formula that's worth the hype i think i would have to pick the cosmic brushes formula um uh, this one i haven't tried yet this one is great i've uh, already filmed two looks then i have the delicious delights palette which is maybe you can see it in the corner uh i think i've used that one like 80 18 times and there's also the gothic palette that one is also amazing so also the uh gourmand girls formula i've picked the haunted palette because i think 
This is my favorite palette of, of theirs. Uh, I can just, I have a lot of things in this palette. So I think it's the Gourmet Girls formula. So these two. Then, um, palette that is too big and I think should be kind of um, edited a little bit. I think it should have, should have been the Ensley Rain palette, the Flower Moon. I no longer have that palette. I've um, I've sent it uh, to Better Home because I just it, it it was too big and it was. I mean, you had one third of the palette was green shimmers, and I love green. Green is my favorite color. But it was too much, there, there wasn't enough differences between them. And then a palette I no longer have uh, either was this Scooby Doo palette with Glam Light, the big one. I'm not a fan of big palettes and I think there, it's not even that it was like repetitive, but I don't think it had to be that big. I think they could have saved a couple shades or like uh, throw away a couple shades and it was just too big and too bulky and I gave it to a friend who also loves Scooby Doo just as much as me and she actually uses that palette more than me. The biggest palette that I currently own is are all the Cosmic Brushes palettes or the all the 20 pants. I don't have bigger palettes than that. And I think it's the biggest that I'm comfortable with. I, I don't like big palettes personally, so I think 20, maybe 22 shades is like the maximum, but that's that's that. And the smallest palette that I own, that would be the uh, Liana palette from Shelby Makeup. This is Itty Bitty palette. It only has four shades. And it's a nice collection of shades. Considering that it's only like a four pan, this one is nice and I quite like her. Then, um, palette that is most used in my collection. Technically, I could pull out all the palettes that I've used up this year, which is three palettes that I've completely used up. But since I technically no longer have them in my like everyday collection or like the, the eyeshadow collection that I use. Uh, I decided to pull out the Merry Christmas palette from Uden's Eye. This, I mean you can see that she's, she's, uh, she's quite used and I've used her 61 times um, so far. So that's currently the one that's the most used. The main reason is that it's in my project pen. It was in my project pen for this year and it's also in my project pen for next year. So uh, that's why she's used the most. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a closer look. Yeah, That's her. A palette that I think is an amazing deal. I'm gonna repeat myself but it has to be the Cosmic Brushes formula because they have such a great quality formula, like one of the best mattes and shimmers that I own and they're so inexpensive. I think I really like the Delights palette, I love the Gothic palette, I'm falling in love with the Winter Wonderland palette, but I think for me personally I'm, I'm gonna get the most uses out of the Muse palette. Um, I don't really, I don't really expect her to be any, I don't really expect her to be worse than any of the other palettes because I think they reformulated before the release of the Muse palette as far as I know. So it should be the same formula and I love Cosmic Brushes formula. So I think for me it's gonna be this one even though I haven't actually used it yet, but uh, I think you get a great product for a, an amazing price and then uh, I would also like to mention the Colourpop Legend of Korra. This palette really surprises me, surprised me this year. I didn't expect 
Uh, I haven't expected to actually... I didn't expect to actually like this palette so much. But she's actually really nice. I made a couple changes. I put this shade in here and this I switched to it something else. So like um, two shades are different. But I love the matte formula here. And I quite like the shimmers. It's, it's not my favorite shimmer formula, but honestly... After having the Tinkerbell palette and the Winnie the Pooh palette, this really surprised me. The blue mattes are like stunning. The yellow is also amazing and the greens are, are just gorgeous as well. So I'm actually pretty surprised with this one. Didn't expect it. I mostly bought it because it's magnetic and I wanted to have a magnetic palette that is not too expensive and then I can just take the shades out and use some singles but i actually really like her so this one was also one of the more like surprising palettes of this year i i definitely didn't expect it uh a palette that i was the most disappointed with this year was the i think it was called hunted pumpkin palette from give me glow i bought it at the beginning of the year, I think it was like February, maybe March, I'm not really sure. Uh, I bought it a monolith when it came there and I didn't like that palette. I think I only had it for like a month and then I just gave it away. Um, because I just, I, I didn't like that one at all. So that was the most disappointing one. Uh, and it was disappointing also because it was really hyped. I love spooky stuff like spooky makeup so i really wanted that one since it launched last halloween and that one didn't live up to the hype at all in my opinion so that's that uh then palette i like to use together one of my favorite Companion palettes is the Delicious Delights palette from Cosmic Brushes and then two palettes that I always, well always, almost always use together or like they're kind of the two palettes that I feel like I get a lot of different color stories out of would be the two Christmas palettes from Odin's Eye. I have my warm tones here and then I have my cool tones here with a couple of really nice pops of um, color, like um, pops of uh, warm. I really like using those two and using them together. Um, but I also use them on their own. So instead, I think I'm gonna nominate... I'm gonna nominate the two um, Unearthly palettes, the Fall Magic palette and the Devour palette, because except the... Because except the review videos that I made with them, I've pretty much been uh, using them either with other palettes or most of the time together. Um, because the Fall Magic has really nice mid-tone shimmers and like multi-chromes, duochromes and also mattes. Uh, and for mattes it goes like light and then dark. And the Devour palette has a lot of really light iridescent shimmers and then really dark shimmers and it has kind of like mid-tone mattes so I feel like they work really nicely together and I think I've created like at least five looks using both of them so those are great together they're, they're nice on their own but I really like using them together Um, when it comes to my favorite brand of eyeshadows, I really love Uden's Eye, even though this year I only bought the Halloween bundle. And I loved the previous launches a little bit more than the Halloween bundle. Then second place, I think, or maybe even first place, I'm not completely sure would be the Cosmic Brushes formula. I know I'm repeating myself, but they really surprised me this year and I think they have amazing formulas. 
and I'm a little bit more interested in their launches um, nowadays than I am with Odin's Eye. So I think I would probably have to nominate the Cosmic Brushes. When it comes to my favorite palette from all the palettes that I have, I think it would have it would have to be the Christmas Eve palette and that's just because even though it's 16 pan this palette really inspires me to be creative and even when I'm not creative and I'm doing just like um, monochromatic looks I'm just always really happy with what I come up with and I'm always excited to use it more and I never really have to think too hard on the looks that I want to create you know, but the other part sometimes I'm genuinely kind of thinking about what haven't I used for a while, how how can I change change it up when it comes to my everyday looks. But this one I always come up with something that's really fun and different. I think my when it comes to favorite palette. When it comes to favorite palette of this year, I'm gonna film a ranking of all the palettes that I've tried this year, so I'm definitely gonna have the one that I like the most from all the ones that I've tried this year, and um, that will be a separate video. So that's also why I chose the Christmas Eve palette. You will see um, in the in the ranking of all the palettes that I've tried this year was gonna be my number one for this year I think they're kind of comparable I, I like them both so I like both that palette and the Christmas Eve palette as well and it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise maybe maybe not I, I really don't know when it comes to the most affordable palette that has to be the Tinkerbell palette from Colourpop it's this beautiful little nine pan again i've made some changes to her but uh, she is great she's small and she was really inexpensive my everyday palette have to be the earth palette because first of all she's really easy to carry and she has green eyeshadows and green eyeshadows are kind of my everyday thing when i don't know what to do or i don't have time i always use her so it's the odin's eye earth palette then i've picked two palettes for the category somebody call it uh, some people call it like the palette that you would take on a on an island or you know if all of my palettes were stolen which one i would want to keep and i'm kind of torn between two so one of the options would be the spooked palette from gourmet girls because it has greens oranges purples those are my most used colors also some pink it just has a lot and it has um and it has dark like it has black matte shade so i can use it as an eyeliner and the other option would be the serpent belt from Mika beauty shop and that's because Again, it has greens, oranges, some purple pinks. I use these shades the most. And I really love the formula. I like the formula maybe here a little bit more because it's more sparkly in the shimmer department. But it doesn't have black matte uh, for the eyeliner. So, I don't know. I kind of want both. Um, when it comes to the most colorful palette, then it has to be the the lights palette because it's a it's a pastel rainbow palette. I I really don't have anything that would have more colors than this in it. So that was pretty easy, um, easy choice. And I don't have any other pastel palette in my collection. Um, anyways, so those were all my picks. Um, let me know what would be your picks for each of these categories if you want to participate in this tag. Um, this is my first time doing anything like that, so I'm sorry if it was maybe a little bit all over the place. But 
I really wanted to film this video and kind of show you. It's not completely like an eyeshadow collection video, just um, picking, you know, just choosing a couple categories. Um, but I really like the palettes that I have. If I don't like a palette, then I don't have it. So they're all favorite in a certain category and they all and I all love them all um, in a certain way. This is just kind of to categorize them maybe a little bit better. Definitely let me know what would be your picks uh, for each category. Let me know if you've liked this video. Um, as I said, this is my first time filming video like this, so if I made some mistakes or um, if it's not in, if it isn't done in a way that you're used to when it comes to these um, palette tag videos, then I'm really sorry. Um, and I hope you're having a great day and I will be very happy to see you in my next video. So, bye!